goodness, with face, pat, and tiz. Now, I don't have no list. I don't have a big topic. I just come with a question. Man. Who do you think is the it? or best comedian right now? I ain't talking about them all times. I ain't talking about them old school. I'm talking about people who are currently active right now doing stand up or doing com- comedical, or excuse me, so comedical is not a word, or doing funny movies or comedies or just stand up. Who do y'all think is the best or funniest comedian right now? So I'm going to say (laughs) I got a few. Uh, Jay, I'm trying to... All right, so top comedian right now to me it would be a toss-up between Tony Baker and Carlos Miller. Like They're like 1A and 1B as far as right now today super active, all of that. Not like the legends that come back out of a hole every couple of years. You know what I'm talking about? Like the people that's like doing it on the regular. Um, mm-hmm. After them, I would say next would be, uh, what's the kid name? K-Dub. Nigga got a fucking hash brown joke there. <laughs> uh, so I definitely like K-Dub's work. Uh, right now. Out right now. They do it right now. Ooh. Um, is Lil Rail active? Is he still touring? I think he's still doing stuff. I know I he ain't got his show no more. I, I would, I would put him in there as far as movies, movies and all that shit. For sure. Mm-hmm. A couple movies doing the funny parts. So he was in Fatherhood. Yeah, he was, he was funny in fatherhood. Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, so definitely Lil Rail and <sighs> that might be it right now. That's as far as hard. straight comedians, as far as like that just had me dying. I'm trying to think. Oh, I got you, comedian CP. Mm. Okay. What's your prayer? All right. So, as far as the comedians I look at, I can't really say who's ruling the game right now because it seems like it's the same top people that I actually notice or whatever that like doing movies and stuff like that or whatever. But I will tell you a couple of like comedians that I've been like listening to from time to time that have me weak from all the time all the time but um i want to say dave Chappelle because then i feel like a traitor if i don't say dave Chappelle to dave Chappelle because anytime he comes out with anything that pops up i get some kind of laugh even when i'm going into it and i'm not even trying to get a laugh like that weird thing where he was just like hey you know he was ranting about hey they got my show. They ain't paying me. Don't look at this shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, who else I would look? Bill Burr. Ah, oh, Bill, okay. Bill Burr is hilarious but, to me. Yo, when that nigga be talking about the uh, when he went to the flea market and he started punching the cupcakes. <laughs> 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 oh, no, 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 hey, if he's if, he's if he's he's Pod he's Squad. He's if you want, if you want a laugh that will have you literally like crying, yeah, like tears yeah. pouring, you laugh so hard. Go to the Bill Burr cupcake at the flea market joke when he talking about him and his girlfriend. He do this girlfriend voice. But why don't you just? Oh my god, man! I... Yo, anytime you oh. do any person's voice, it's hilarious. <laughs> that <laughs> when... funny, bro. Have, Yo, have you watched this podcast or listen to this podcast? The Thursday morning, Monday morning podcast. I didn't even know he had a he podcast. Got two of, he got like, it's like the Monday morning podcast, <laughs> then it's like the Thursday afternoon podcast or something like that. Something like that, but I know when he <sighs> he hosted um, Saturday Night Live one time, and he when he shamed white women. 
<laughs> and when he was like, look at you. How did you hijack? <laughs> how you hijack Black Lives Matter? <laughs> he was saying all that, like, how do you, how did you do that? You hijack feminism. You're making these people, oh, woe is you. <laughs> like, when he gets yeah. in that, oh, woe is you moment. Bill Burr. You know I mean? mm-hmm. He is Bill Burr. I don't know. He is the king of comedic rants. Mm-hmm. Like when he get on one, like the only person, like he's up there with like Lewis Black and like them type. Oh of yeah. Guys. When they come to just like when he get mad about stuff, like that is the funniest <laughs> of funny shit ever. Like just let them go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real. Lewis tough. Black. Lewis Black is definitely one that had me. Oh, that's another nigga that's funny too. Speaking of Lewis, is Lewis Belt out Belt. of the Bay, out of the Bay Area. Yeah, young kid, man, shit, funny as fuck. No, it's one. No, it's one other person. And then, if it ain't Bill Burr, man, I'd be looking at old Patrice O'Neill com- comedy or whatever, because I feel like they're in like pretty much the same thing. <laughs> whatever, and I just I'd say man. Craig Smith too. Smith. Oh I'll look him up. Ronnie He's Jordan. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Teddy Ray. He's at who? Ronnie Jordan. Ronnie Jordan. Teddy Ray. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Black Ron. Black Ron. Yes. I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. He's mm-hmm. funny. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, uh, I believe her name is Tamara or Takara, something like that. Yep, Takara Williams, I think it is. Yeah, mm-hmm. probably she's funny as hell. Funny as hell. Um, Ty Davis, shout out to her too. Is Black Davis, Ron the one that be smiling hard Black, all the time? Black Ron got a beard like mine, dark skin. I think he might got locks or something like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. And he wear glasses. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, that was the other one I was thinking about here. It's like Ron Hutchinson, Ron Hutchins or something. His name is just Black Ron. It's like B L A Q Ron, something yeah. like that. So, Uncle Dave Chappelle, Comedy Go, um, and on the low. I'm gonna say Joe Coy. Mm. Joe who? Joe, Joe Coy. Coy. Okay. Yeah, Filipino cat. Mm-hmm. Joe Coy for that shit. Joseph, yeah. come on, Joseph. Yeah, yeah when he do his mom. <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> 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 And he looks like the uh, he looks like the villain baby from the new Boss Baby movie too. <laughs> if y'all, if all y'all parents out there that seen the new Boss Baby, Family Business, y'all will know exactly what I'm talking about. Joe Coy looks exactly like the villain baby. Mm-hmm. You know, Joe Coy. Joe Coy, I mean, Boss Baby. Are you looking those up right now, Pat? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, the, bell, the mm-hmm. boss baby, villain baby? <laughs> I'm telling you, look at Joe Coy right next to it. Joe Coy, funny shit. Yeah, it's funny looking, too. Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Look uh, at him. he was in Norfolk. Look time. at them together. You're going to be like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, that's mm-hmm. definitely, they definitely got mm-hmm. the model mm-hmm. for that from him. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Boss Baby Joe. I forgot he had to get a joke about his name. <laughs> he was like, he was like, he named himself that because there was a nickname he thought somebody else was calling him. And then he was like, asking him, why did you call yourself Joe Cole? And that person asked him, he's like, he was like, no, I saw what I've been calling you. <laughs> he was like, what? Wrong? I don't remember. Oh, man. So now he just <laughs> stuck with Joe Coy? Coy Fisher? 
Oh, oh. quick blood. Who? Who? Who's that's the good. um the comedian that say Mexican got boots? Oh, Ali Sadiq. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Mexican got Mexican got boots. <laughs> Mexicans got boots. Hey, 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 hey. Mexican got boots, man. Great story, Tom. <laughs> yeah, we got one put in my list to everyone. Um, Ali Sadiq got one. And one of the few celebrities to speak out and call Umar School some bullshit. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. I um man, anytime any anytime you got a comedian that just had me fall into their world with a random crazy story they or whatever, and mm-hmm. I'm really trying to figure out what's about to happen next. <laughs> yeah, another well, one when he talking about his daughter or something like that. Mm-hmm. It was like a swimmer or something like some shit like that. But yeah, he at least be one of yeah. He definitely he oh, definitely. Yeah. I, mean, I I forget yeah, about him because he's not as much in the mainstream, but he is funny as fuck. Yeah, mm. well, he got one of the better Comedy yeah. Central specials out there. Oh yeah. oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I forgot the name of his album. I got, I got to look up the name of his album. Shit, I'll send it to y'all. Bet that shit, um, that shit, that shit fire. Bet it up, bet it up. Put us up on some new comedians in the comments down there, Pasquale. Let us know who y'all got for us. Yeah, we always looking for a good laugh, man. Yeah, man, we need more laughs in the world, man. Need more laughs in the world. You might never heard of. Um, Yeah, we listening to the like the um the comedy and like the different cultures and shit, like the African comedians and shit like that. Sometimes, um. Not not a lot though, to be honest with you. Yeah. Was like, uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I should be more into other culture shit, but sometimes like I just I'm a couple I'm, I'm, I'm a nigga of routine, funny. man. I like the shit that I know. I, I want I want to get the joke quick. Ooh. I don't want to do no research. Yeah, it, it would take you at first because you know how we do the um African accent, but like, hey, yeah, we talk they like, they talk like this. Uh, some comedians over there they do the reverse about American. Oh, Americans do this and this. But it's a bit funny as a bit, but it takes you off guard. <laughs> Speaking of funny shit from Africa, there is an African singing show. I don't know whether it's like Africa's Got Talent or Af- African Idol or what, but it is funnier than American Idol when they do like the episode where everybody be going singing crazy. Like, mm. bruh, bruh. Bruh, it, yeah. Oh, I can't. I, I'm gonna have to find the name of it. I'm gonna have to do a, a clip or something you about it. Man. On, you family people got to get on your African TV, man. African TV, yeah. Who is that? African movies, <laughs> not African American movies. With them African movies, tell you, yo, they be hilarious. I say, um, they do be hilarious. Some of them be. I've watched some. I watched some some African movies before, and they make no freaking sense. But it'd be some wild ish going on, and the CGI is always absolutely fantastically horrible. Yeah, yeah. Yo, the African ninja <laughs> movie. <laughs> Yo, African gangster ninja movies and stuff. Happening in this movie. Do do a drive by. Next thing you know, Sub Zero pop out of nowhere. <laughs> Middle. And then it'd be some dude in, the, in the near a hut, guns, and then it'd be oh, another yeah. nigga in, a, in like a mansion yelling, and you don't know to know why he yelling, but he mad. He got on a white suit. It's always a white suit, and they got always got like one dude with the mad jewelry on. Yeah, he <laughs> a, he the henchman, mm-hmm. and one dude that looked like Khaled for some reason. <laughs> Always one one college somewhere. You gotta throw you gotta throw all of the all of the colors in there. Mm-hmm. Somewhere. Somewhere. You but smart. You loyal. Was, I like um like sometimes when they have like comedians or whatever, they just from different cultures or whatever. I watch on Netflix when I'm in a Stand up mood. You know whatever. who's funny as hell. I don't know if he still does his thing, but I know he was like the biggest comedian in the world like a, a few years back. Sebastian Manicalo. 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 Yeah, he did like um. He's 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 all right. He did like a award show back. That's when yeah, I like first yeah. heard about him. 
Yeah, he, he was like the, one of the biggest comedians yeah. in the world at that time, mm-hmm. like if not the biggest. Mm-hmm. He's not funny. Who sucks? Aziz, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't really care. Aziz, his humor don't don't do it for me. I'm I'm not a big fan of it. I don't like him in anything though. I, I didn't I didn't really like him in Parks and Rec. No, I just care. And I like that show a lot, but I didn't care for him. Yeah. The first time I heard about him was um when he was with the big black lady. What? We should say his character was only good when he was playing opposite of the big black lady. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The big black I lady. Think, is um, I don't know her name, but she is funny as hell. Exactly. I don't remember. First saw him on Observe and Report, that movie. With um Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen, yeah, mm-hmm. as the mall security dude. That's when I first heard about him. That's about it. A lot of people, I mean, you know, he got his own community of people that like him. I just Mm-hmm. I don't care for his humor. It's not he's not funny to me. It ain't that I don't like him. Mm-hmm. Just, he's, he's, I don't he's find his joke funny. I, I think he's better as like a character more than like a stand-up person. Stand up. I don't care for his comedic timing. Like I wanna I don't know. I just I, a certain comedy that I like, it gotta be almost it's like it it I like goofy shit, man. I don't know how else to explain mm-hmm. it. Like Aziz is like bro humor like that type of shit mm-hmm. but that's yeah. not funny to me like I get the joke it's just not humorous to me like you like give me frat but, right boy. but you give me a little rail talking about his damn daddy uh, about to fight the dragons and got on a big ass pelly pelly coat in the washroom <laughs> <laughs> Talk about your crack dealer there. Like that shit is funny to me because I'm visualizing this old man out there with a heavy ass pelly pelly. It's pelly pelly heavy there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm, crack I'm, I'm, I'm digging down the dragons. I'm gonna call the dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, if you don't get your old ass gay. <laughs> the dragons. <laughs> that, was a, that was a lost gang from the Warriors. <laughs> they know they, they they was they was late to the meeting, so they ain't get to you know they ain't get into the action. You gonna call the niggas is late? They, <laughs> they, they, they was over there in the washroom with a heavy pelly pelly on. Y'all got this pelly 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 heavy there. And the funny part, the funnier part is like I went to college with dudes that used to sell drugs and they was from Chicago, and they had. They did wear a lot of like heavy ass pelly pelly jackets back when people were still wearing Abrex, so they had on pelly pellets. The big. They I had never like heard that. of pelly pelly till I met them. And I was, it, it, it's just yo that type of humor. Big yellow, boofed up, um, Lil Kim crush on you jackets. Yeah, it's always like a yellow one. I always see one with, with crazy somebody either with yellow or red. You might find a light blue somewhere, but those were the main heavy help. as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm selling crack now. <laughs> Melvin the crack dealer. <laughs> Melvin and the dragons. We ain't had Pelly Pelly down here. We had triple fat goose. <laughs> oh man, I can see you. I can see the old man. He call up his old pal, his old buddies, and they come rolling up in in old panel vans and shit <laughs> with, the, in the with the two small <laughs> jean with the two small jean jackets on, with the dragon on the back. <laughs> they roll up looking like um, what's the old, old hogs? Or, wild or, hogs. <laughs> yeah, wild hogs. Hell no. Uh, Get your old pair of old <laughs> geriatric ass out of here, geriatric gangsters. I heard it was trouble out here. Big payback. Yes, you are having trouble out here with your sugar level. Then get your old ass back out here. <laughs> out here with them heavy pellet pellets on. The big oh, payback. Man. Looking looking like um Look at all the looking like all the fighters in um don't be uh not don't be a menace. What was that movie? I'm gonna get you sucker. 
Oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> no, I'll get you sucker. Ace Slade. <laughs> Goddamn Hammer and Slammer. Kung Fu Joe. Yeah. The window or the stairs? We <laughs> take the stairs. Oh, Those niggas get beat up. Uh, Dwayne Wayne was beat the fuck up. A good damn movie though, man. I still feel sorry for the fish in that in the boots. I feel sorry for your mother. I'm so <laughs> why That's why I thought you were going with that. I thought you were going to be a menace. <laughs> what a, what movie was that from? Uh, Menace of Society, and then Don't oh. Be a Menace. Oh yeah, that's mm-hmm. what. I said, what you say about my mom? Hmm? Do not, not have a problem. Please just get out. Please just get out. <laughs> that nigga shot everything in this. But um, mm-hmm. 